Here we go. It's a 1935 F.W. Evans. Uh, the Evans, yeah. Yes. Evans. Anyway, uh, it's it's a stunner, and it looks too big for me. And really, it is. I need more seat posts showing here, but that's the best I can do. But when you're on it, when you're on it, when you're riding, uh, this is just an amazing machine. It just rides dead straight. It's smooth. It's silent. It's really wonderful. And I got to point out too, the rear hub. I've gotten a few comments about it. The rear hub is cone shaped. It's not a cylinder like a normal Sturmy hub. It's a KS5, uh, which the KS is a de designation for K series. Uh, the S is a sporting version, and the 5 is 1935. So, dates this bike right around 1935. But, uh, Peter, maybe you know a gentleman named Mike Deering in the UK. Have you heard of him? Yeah, that's who I got this from. Uh, I asked for some pictures of it. He posted it for sale. And he sent me photos from a tour that he was on. So here's the bike leaned against the train station sign. Here's the Evans against the, the town limits sign. It says West End. It's a good marketer. Here's a, yeah. I was completely sucked into that marketing uh, technique. Anyway, what a interesting bunch of photos. They were not very big. I wanted to bring them up here and uh, show them off, but John, didn't get time. Explain the rear dropouts and, and what... The rear dropouts, yes. The rear dropouts won an award, uh, CTC. Silver plaque, the, the first one that were awarded in 1928. 1928, silver plaque, For yes. The best cycling innovation of the year. His innovation was the adjuster screws for the dropouts. And uh, there is no left or right. You notice the screws are always on the right side of the dropout. Anyway, it's um, it, it seems so elementary, but it was a new thing back then to have a screw uh, to define how deep your uh, axle goes. I should also mention, I'm looking down at the KS series. There's an adjustable nut on this side for the uh, bearings, which normal AWs and pretty much everything else made by Sturmy doesn't have. So you can service this side of the hub quite easily. Uh, it's got a full tecalumet oil system, which is pretty unusual. You notice the little things that look like zerk fittings. Well, they're not zerks. It's the tecalumet system. Size tubing A. Tubing A, okay. I'll make a mental note of that. That's the tecalumet oiler. It's just a little palm-sized thing, and you put it on this fitting, give it a pump. It's spring-loaded. It squirts a little shot of oil in there and you're done you're ready to roll there's two fittings on the bottom bracket two up here on the headset uh, it came pretty much as equipped uh, minus the bag tags uh, swan neck stem. yeah it came with the swan neck stem and these kind of an odd bend to the bar but really when you're riding these these are very very comfortable Lumel's uh, no weight mud guards, and my favorite. If you look on the back, yeah. this is the Lumel's super safety flap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so much safer when I ride that. <laughs> yeah, the paint looks uh, basically brand new, but I've uh, I've talked at great length about my oiling system for paint restoration. You just use 90 weight gear oil, which works great. Wipe it on heavy. Just put it on with your hands, actually. It's a nice perfume, and that's that's the biggest drawback. You let it sit overnight and just wipe off the excess. And you know, if you're a man and you don't need to display it in the living room, yeah, that works great. Uh, but the spouse is gonna complain about the smell. Now this, this is something else. I just tried this uh, on Friday. It's that little black tub. It's called Obanoffs. And it's uh, a leather. Yeah, LP, Obanoffs LP, which is leather preservative. And it smells so much nicer than 90 weight gear oil. <laughs> Holy smokes. Doesn't take much. <laughs> Doesn't take much. Uh, anyway, just what I've been doing uh, is laying it on heavy and just wipe it with a rag and it comes out 
unbelievably nice. It's a Bonnie headlight. It's a Lucas <laughs> King of the Road. <laughs> yes. Really? It came with a bicycle. It's, it was very popular with the camping crowd because this it comes right off and, and there's a flat base on it so you can set it on the table or the picnic table or wherever you want. Marvelous. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, hold up.